Hello everyone, uh, this is a fifth video on information statistics. In this video, we discuss some examples, particularly when H0 has parameter mu or p. Okay, consider this example. A manufacturer of sports equipment has developed a synthetic uh, fishing line that the company claims as a mean breaking strength of 8, 8 kg with a standard deviation of uh, 0 0.5 kilograms. Test the hypothesis mu is equal to 8 kg against the alternate hypothesis mu is not equal to 8 kg. Okay, they are given that null hypothesis is uh, mu is equal to 8 and alternate hypothesis h1 is mu is not equal to 8. Just recollect the uh, steps involved in hypothesis testing. First, we need to formulate the hypothesis. We formulated it. Next, identify level of significance. If the level of significance is given as uh, 0 0.01, you can see this. And we have to find the uh, appropriate test statistic. Okay, for that, let me uh, consider all givens uh, given in this uh, uh, particular problem. They are given that standard deviation as 0 0.5 and sample size is uh, 50. N is equal to 50. And sample mean is uh, 7.8. Okay, the question, these are uh, uh, given in this question. Okay, next identify uh, appropriate test statistics since uh, sample size is 50. The appropriate test statistic is Z because uh, uh, the distribution X bar approximates normal random variable. Therefore, uh, we can say uh, test statistic is uh, Z and test statistic value. Z naught uh, is nothing but X bar minus mu upon sigma divided by root n uh, which is uh, equal to 7.8 minus 8 upon 0 0.5 divided by root 50 and this is approximately uh, minus 2.83 uh, this is a test statistic value our uh, next is when you identify critical region okay let's see this is this two tailed test or one tailed test look at this alternate hypothesis uh, mu is not equal to 8 and thus it is a, a two-tailed test nz test uh, if i draw the diagram of normal distribution we get this if this is a 0 0.01 level of significance uh, this point is z 0 0.01 by 2 that is we get 0 0.005 and this point is minus z 0 0.005 and we reject the hypothesis that is null hypothesis if z is uh, greater than that is z naught is greater than uh, this number or less than this number uh, we know that uh, this value is a uh, 2.58 and this value is minus 2.58 uh, clearly the z naught what we got here is greater than or lesser than sorry uh, minus 2.58 by some area 0.58 therefore uh, we reject this null hypothesis this is the decision okay and decision is this I reject h naught okay uh, since the point uh, z z naught uh, lies in critical region we reject h naught and for confirmation you can find p value a p value is nothing but uh, this area plus I, I find uh, due to symmetry the area occupied okay by this shaded region is also uh, same as this and uh, some of this to use p value which is two times probability that z is lesser than minus 2.58 uh, which is approximately 0 0.0046 uh, clearly this area is lesser than a uh, significance level and significance level is a uh, 0 0.01 yes our decision is correct uh, we reject null hypothesis it's clear from this as well okay this is stronger than this uh, if this is a uh, significantly lesser than 0 0.01 we reject null hypothesis uh, let's go to next question a random sample of 100 recorded deaths in united states during the last year uh, showed an average average lifespan of 71.8 years assuming a population standard deviation of 8.9 years 
does this seem to indicate that the mean lifespan today is greater than 70 years okay then we need to show okay we need to, they ask a question uh, whether the mean lifespan is greater than 70 years okay uh, we assume that mean lifespan is 70 years we consider this as null hypothesis and uh, if this is rejected we need to show that this is greater than 70 years this is alternate hypothesis and given what is significance level which is 0 0.05 in this case you can see this question and the population standard deviation is given as 8.9 and sample mean is 71.8 and sample size is 100 now once we have this information next identify the appropriate test statistic uh, since sample sizes again are larger okay which is 100 we use a z at, uh, z test or you can see a, a test statistic is z and which is equal to a, a x bar minus mu upon a sigma divided by root n and test statistic value is this Uh, z naught is uh, x naught x x x bar is 71.8 minus 70 divided by 8.9 upon uh, root 100 we get the answer as a 2.02 .02. okay we got test statistic value then we will draw conclusion uh, before that let's see uh, which uh, which test we need to uh, perform here uh, since Alternate hypothesis is uh, mu greater than of 70. Uh, we have to consider one tail test, particularly upper tail test. We have to consider upper tail test. Okay, in Z test. Upper tail test, if I draw the diagram of uh, distribution, is, uh, if this is critical value, and critical value is denoted by Z alpha, and alpha is 0 0.05 in this case. Uh, this leaves an area 0 0.05 to the right of z 0 0.05 and if I know this value and if this z naught is inside this critical region which is shaded then uh, we reject the null hypothesis otherwise we don't reject the null hypothesis okay what is the value of z 0 0.05 uh, let's see this uh, from this clear from this picture it's clear that 1 minus phi of uh, z 0 0.05 is uh, 0 0.05 this implies phi of z 0 0.05 is equal to 0 0.95 uh, you can check from the table normal distribution table uh, when the value is uh, 0 0.095 sorry 0 0.95 and the corresponding z value is this therefore i can write it here z 0 0.05 is I think it's one point. Okay, let me uh, check this distribution table. It's somewhere here. Yeah, I got the distribution table 0 0.95. Okay, already highlighted here. You can see this. Uh, it lies between uh, 1.64 and 1.65. Let me consider this as 1.645. Okay, this is the dot value. And clearly, Z naught uh, is. Uh, lesser than or greater than greater than 1.645 the note lies somewhere here okay uh, it is inside the critical region and the decision is we uh, reject h naught and we can also confirm this by finding the p-value and p-value is a probability that uh, z is a uh, greater than or equal to 2.02 .02. and this value is 1 minus okay phi of two point zero two and this is approximately okay I'll write it here this is approximately um, 0 0.0217 okay you can verify from the table Yes, and this is uh, significantly lesser than 0 0.05, and we uh, reject this null hypothesis. 
that is a decision whatever we taken from the statistic value uh, is correct that is confirmed by p-value uh, next example three the edison electric institute has published figures on the number of kilowatt hours used annually by various home appliances it is claimed that vacuum cleaner uses an average of 46 kilowatt hour per year okay it uses 46 kilowatt per hour year uh, hour per year uh, if the random sample of 12 ohms are included in a plant uh, uh, study indicates that vacuum cleaner uses an average of 42 kilowatt per uh, year with standard deviation of 11.9 kilowatt hours does this suggest an 0 0.05 level of significance that vacuum cleaner uses an average less than 46 kilowatt uh, hour annually assuming the population of kilowatt hour to be normal Okay, what is uh, another hypothesis in this case? Null hypothesis H naught is uh, mu is equal to 46, which is given in this question, and against the alternate hypothesis uh, mu less than 46. And level of significance is given as 0 0.05. And uh, look into this one. And standard deviation is a standard deviation is not population standard deviation it is a standard deviation of a sample s is equal to 11.9 and sample mean is given as a 42 yes okay uh, that's it this is uh, given in the question and from this alternate hypothesis, it's clear that uh, we have to perform a, a lower tail test. And test statistic is T distribution. Okay, we have to consider T distribution. And test statistic is uh, T uh, because sample size is smaller and sample size is 12. And population standard deviation is not given for uh, test statistic. is t and test statistic value uh, t is equal to x bar minus mu upon s divided by root n okay if you substitute it and simplify we get the answer as minus 1.16 okay we are doing one tail test uh, this is lower tail test right lower tail test and t test okay, and the, this diagram of distribution is this and we reject it if the t value whatever we find is in this critical region and critical value in this case is t uh, 0 0.05 comma and degree of freedom here is uh, 12 okay like this let me write this as 11 and t 0 0.05 comma 11 from the table you can see that the value is oh this is lower tail test not upper tail test sorry for it has to be a critical values minus t 0 0.05 comma 11 okay and reject it if uh, t value is in this critical region and critical value uh, from the table we can see that the value is uh, minus 1.796 and clearly a t naught a test statistic value is greater than uh, minus t 0 0.05 comma 11 okay, because it lies somewhere here outside this critical region thus we uh, do not reject null hypothesis decision is this do not reject h naught uh, we cannot find p value and if you want to find p value and p value is nothing but this area okay. the value can't be found using table before uh, 
we make our decision using the statistic value itself and this decision is this next question okay already written the answers we can go to this question a commonly prescribed drug for a relieving nervous tension is believed to be uh, only 60 percent effective experimental results with new drug administered to a random sample of 100 adults who were suffering from nervous tension show that 70 received a relief if this sufficient enough to conclude that the new drug is superior to the one commonly prescribed use a 0 0.05 level of significance that is uh, it's given that sample size is 100 you can see this question and uh, 70 received relief thus population sorry sample proportion is 70 upon 100 which is 0 0.7 and level of significance is given as 0 0.05 uh, what is uh, null hypothesis? Null hypothesis is uh, where it is 60 percentage. That is, uh, population proportion is uh, 0 0.6. We assume this as null hypothesis and we have to check whether the new drug is superior to this or not. That is, let this be the alternate hypothesis. And the test is again a Z test. Why? Because NA is significantly larger. And we use upper tail test because the alternate hypothesis uh, p is greater than 0 0.6 and test statistic value is uh, z itself as i said it is a z test uh, that is test statistic and test statistic value is z naught i just given by this formula and we get the answer as 2.04 and critical value in this case here is a uh, 1.645 okay this we are uh, considered in the previous examples as well uh, clearly test statistic value is uh, greater than critical value thus we reject this null hypothesis when you can confirm by finding this p-value and p-value is uh, area shaded in this pink uh, which is a 0 0.02 uh, significantly smaller than 0 0.05 thus our uh, decision rejecting the null hypothesis is confirmed and also supported by p-value Okay, that's it. Uh, we stop this. I can consider more examples which is there in the tutorial and work on yourself.